science tutorial for you. This is my second part of the periodic table and in this video I'm going to tell you the importance of mass number and atomic number and I'm also going to tell you what is the period and the group reveals. Okay, so if we take a periodic table and if I take the element over here and that should be boron, yeah it is boron If you notice in the periodic table, there is a top number and a bottom number. For boron, the top number is 11, and the bottom number is 5. <clears throat> the top number is called mass number, and the bottom number is the atomic number. Now, it is wrong of me to say top number and bottom number. The actual term to use is the bigger number. The bigger number is the mass number and the smaller number is the atomic number. Because in some of the periodic table, 5 could be at the top and 11 could be at the bottom. So what you have to remember is that mass number is always greater than atomic number. So mass number is bigger than atomic number. That is very important. So if you see the 5 to be at the top, 5 is smaller number, so obviously that's the atomic number. Okay. Now, mass number reveals the number of protons plus neutrons. So mass number tells us the number of particles, the subparticles inside the nucleus. Okay, so mass number is just the nucleus number, it's the number of protons and neutrons. Atomic number is the number of um, it's the number of protons, sorry about this, the number of protons. So it can also be the number of number of electrons. All right. Period. What does a period reveals in the periodic table? So it reveals the total number of electron shell. So if the electron, the total electron shell is 3, then it will be found on the third period, across the third period. Group. It tells the number of, number of electron found in the outer shell. So for example, if we have two electrons in the outer shell, so obviously it would be found on the group two. Important thing that I need to tell you now is that elements in the same group elements in the same group will have similar chemical properties. Why? Because they have the same number of electron in the outer shell. Now, let's take boron over here. I've got five, sorry, I've got 11 and five. Okay, so if I ask you to tell me the number of protons, what would you tell me? We learned that the number of proton is the number of, is the atomic number. And in this case, atomic number is five. So, proton number is five. Electron? Number of proton is equal to number of electron in atom, so that would be five. How would you find the number of neutron? To find the number of neutrons, use this. Okay, we learn that eleven is the mass number, which is the number of protons and neutrons. And we already learned that the number of proton is five. So neutron number plus five is equal to eleven. So that neutron must be 5 plus what? 6. So neutron is equal to 6. That's the way to find out. Uh, it's a simple method. So if I ask you to draw the atom, you'll write the nucleus inside, you'll write the boron, and you put it inside the nu nucleus. Okay. What's the maximum number of electrons in the in the first shell is two. 
we can't put more than two so we have to open up a second shell I need to go to up to up to five so two is already there so I need to put three so electron shell is two sorry electron arrangement is two comma three this is the important bit we learned that the period is the total number of electron shell so in this case we have how many shell one two so for boron period is two and group is the number of electron found in the outer shell so we can see that one two three or you can look at the electron arrangement and it's three so group is three for boron so this is hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron so it's in group three all right then thank you guys for watching my videos i'll be doing a test on this second part of the period table i'll be happy if you try it and please subscribe to my videos and share it with your friends thank you guys bye